Welcome everyone to the, this is our fifth in the uh, Untapped Treasure series. This one will be on Fenton Glass and today I'm just going to give you a, a sneak peek of what these webinars are all about, what we'll be covering, uh, and what you can look forward to. So this webinar came about through one of our other uh, webinars we did in the series and this is what we've covered so far. Uh, the first one I did was on EAPG and American Brilliant Glass. EAPG is um, Early American Pressed or Pattern Glass. And then Murano and Venetian Art Glass. Then we did Contemporary and Other Art Glass. And this is where we really discovered that Fenton Glass needed its own webinar. There is so much to know about Fenton Glass. So that is why that is the topic of the month. We did crystal and other clear glass last month. Um, today, we're, of course, or next week, we're going to be doing Fenton glass, which is what we're talking about today. Uh, then we're going to talk about depression glass, because believe it or not, there is depression glass that is still selling for good money. Um, then we're going to get off of the glass a little bit and do fine art, paintings and prints, sculptures and other works of art. Then we're going to do more general antiques and collectibles to kind of finish up the series. So that's 10 webinars in this series all together. And who knows, we may think of some more uh, in the course of this. And believe me, if, if there is something that um, we don't have in this list and it needs its own webinar, we're going to add that too. So each topic we cover where to find it, how to identify it, how to price it, that's usually the biggie, how to photograph it, how to list it, those keywords using Cassini, and then of course how to package and ship it, the dreaded packaging and shipping. And uh, I promise you, I have a video coming on this very soon, um, as well as uh, actually live workshops if uh, anyone is coming out to my May event, the More Fun, Bigger Profits event in Las Vegas, we're going to have hands-on workshops on packaging and shipping. So let's talk a minute about Fenton Glass. Uh, it's got a really rich history. The, it is the largest manufacturer of handmade colored glass in the United States. A huge, huge. I mean, it is synonymous with art glass. Um, it was founded in 1905 by two brothers named Frank and John Fenton, and it actually started out in Martins Ferry, Ohio, but that is not where we know Fenton Glass to be from, right? Anybody know where Fenton Glass actually really has been for the last 100 plus years? And what I found interesting as I was diving into um, this, and nobody, you guys can just type right over there in your questions box. I get those as comments as well. Um, what I found interesting about these two guys is they started the Fenton Glass Company, so to speak, by painting decorations on other manufacturers' glassware. Do you guys know that? Uh, so they were more the artists than the actual glass makers in the beginning. And they wanted a bigger variety of colors. They were not satisfied with, with the, th the things that they were getting from those manufacturers. And that's what prompted them to open the Fenton Art Glass Factory in Williamstown, West Virginia. And that was in 1907. Uh, now, how many of you are familiar with carnival glass. Most of you, okay. So carnival glass was actually uh, brought about by the Fenton Art Glass Company in 1907. It was one of their first products as this iridescent glassware, uh, which has become very, very, very popular over the years. Um, so they, they produced the Carnival Glass, and that really kind of boosted them forward. They were known for their, just their state-of-the-art 
designs and colors and that set them apart from all the other glass companies out there. In the 1940s, a new generation of the Fentons took over running the company, and that was Frank and Wilmer. Now, Wilmer's name as we know him is Bill Fenton. Uh, um, I think just about everybody that deals in, with Fenton knows the name Bill Fenton. Uh, but they were not the original Fentons. They took over in the 1940s. And then in 1986, George Fenton, who was actually Frank's son, became president of the company. Now, Fenton has had a little rough time the last several years. They actually closed uh, in 2011, um, declared bankruptcy, and they were done. There was lots of stuff out in the news about how the molds were getting sold off and everything was going to get cheapened. And, and there was kind of like this this decline, actually. You would think that there would have been a boost in Fenton sales, but there was actually a decline because the collectors were worried. The collectors were worried that their products were now going to be cheapened. But that didn't happen. Uh, Fenton was actually purchased by U.S. Glass. And I believe the factory is open right now in a limited capacity, but is not fully open yet because they are still in the process of cataloging molds and working on and getting things up and running. They're bringing in state-of-the-art furnaces. There's a whole new Fenton coming. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see what that looks like. And um, we talked about a company called Stuben um, last uh, webinar when we were talking about the crystal and the clear glass, Stuben closed their doors uh, in 2011, but are in talks with U.S. Glass to bring some licensing, uh, meaning that that name can be used in a line of products that will be put out by Fenton Glass. And Fenton Glass will still be known as Fenton Glass. It's just owned now by its parent company, U.S. Glass. I know, a little confusing, but um, some stuff you needed to know there. So there are reasons that you want to be looking for Fenton glass, and they are in the green right there. <laughs> These are search results that I pulled just today of some of the top-selling Fenton glass pieces. Do you guys know that there's, there's Fenton glass out there that's worth thousands of dollars? I know there's a lot of Fenton glass out there, um, but I was surprised at, at how many results came in in the upper hundreds and into the thousands. So it's definitely a glass that you want to be on the lookout for. Lost my mouse for a minute. There we go. <laughs> um, and here again, some of these um, just have to do with the amazing color and the quality and some of the lines. And I'm really going to go in depth into the types, the colors, the shapes, the things that make Fenton Fenton, and even when it's not marked, you'll be able to tell it's Fenton and have an edge. Um, for instance, be able to pick up this little vase right here. See my little mouse cursor there? Uh, I would imagine a thrift store would not know that that was a piece of Fenton glass that was worth $380. Um, they, they may know it was a nice piece of glass. They may price it in the $20 to $30 price range. Uh, but armed with this information, you know what it sells for and that that would just be a no-brainer to pick up and put in your cart carefully. <laughs> There's lots of seemingly plain little pieces of glass that are Fenton that are not marked, that are not labeled, that you can learn to recognize and get these big prices when other people would pass them right by. I just think it's a pretty little piece of glass. So that, that is really what I'm going to be teaching you, is to not pass by those dollar bills. Here's a few pieces of Fenton that I currently have listed. Um, believe it or not, there are quite a few lines that were put out by QVC. Now normally you'd think QVC and you'd think that that would cheapen things, but there is a culture out there of QVC buyers and you that they they're missing one of the ones in their series and it was only available through QVC they will go nuts to get it so we're going to talk about that too um, there are pieces that 
are marked differently. We'll talk about that. There are um, experimental pieces that are that are really really cool. All right. Okay, I'm seeing a comment. Raise your hand from Trisha. Are you trying to raise your hand? Just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Okay. <laughs> so there are um, not only things like these little eggs, but they do all kinds of animal figures. Um, as you saw back in that previous slide, even things like, and I'll go back, see if I can get back to that previous, I can never go back to previous slides. Because it's like, the little mark down here is buried and I can't find it. Anyway, there was a nativity set. There's all kinds of pieces that you want to be on the lookout for that, that are kind of out in the ordinary and, and not thought of as Fenton. We're going to go quite extensively into the marks and the labeling. These are the actual embossed marks that you'll find on pieces. This is probably one of the most popular Fenton marks on, on pieces that are actually marked. Now remember, they didn't start marking their pieces until 1970, and that was only on carnival glass. So really, 72 and 73 is where it started getting put onto all the other pieces. Uh, so pre-1970 Fenton is not marked at all. Uh, and those are some of the really high dollar money pieces. So I will teach you how to find and spot those. Um, and then you can really narrow down when your piece was made just knowing these, these marks right here, which is what I wanted to share with you. So if you have the Fenton little mark with a, without a number, you have a 1970s piece. And then what they did was they started adding a number. So if it's got an eight, it was made in the 80s. If it's got a 9, it was made in the 90s. 0 was for the 2000s. Now, what they had to do is start adding back to those 1s to denote, say, like 2000 teens. So two, it, having the 1 is going to be anything between 2010 and 2019. So we'll see that one for a while on current pieces. Um, but this is a numbering system that a lot of people don't know about and it can really really help. Yeah, Fenton is one of the easiest types of glass to identify and date um, if you have just a little bit of information to go on. Now unfortunately that also makes it a prime target to be picked up by a lot of sellers and, and sold with fairly accurate information. So I'm going to try and give you that information that will give you the edge on those not so common pieces. Now there's a whole variety of, of, of sticker labels too that I'm going to go into and, and show you. Um, and a lot of pieces don't have those labels anymore. So again, there's molds, there's patterns, there's colors, there's things that you can use to identify uh, what is true Fenton and, and what is not. So what you're going to learn in the webinar will be terminology to use when you're listing, and that will include different shape names, the design terminology that they used, and many of the pieces are signed by artists, and there are some artists to really be on the lookout for. There, there are, is, can be the identical shaped piece, and if it's done by a certain handful of artists, that piece just went up substantially in value. We'll go a little bit more into the history. Is it worth buying and selling? Not every piece of Fenton is. So I'm also going to show you those pieces that you want to leave on the shelf and, and let somebody else deal with them. How to stand out from other sellers. And always more, always more. And of course, We'll take all of your questions as they come up within the webinar and make sure we're covering it so that you walk away feeling like you can really sell Fenton glass. So are you passing by $100 bills? I really hope not. I don't want anybody passing by those $100 bills. Uh, you can absolutely make a ton of money with glass and 
I love glass. I, I have said it before because it's one of those things that most people are not going to take the time to learn about. They're just not because there is so much to it. But the great thing is that once you do and you're armed with that information, there's literally thousands of dollars to be made in glass. Thousands. And it's also one of those items that because it breaks, um, there are pieces out there that people just absolutely have to have and, and replace out of their collections. And, and I will tell you, as a personal glass collector, uh, glass people are just nuts. Okay? I don't know what it is. We're just nuts. Um, it, I have shelves of glass in my living room. And uh, I, I sometimes have to look and go, okay, you know what? I need to, like, narrow down which type I'm going to collect now because I'm getting too much. And then I sell that off. And then I get something else. So glass collectors are always changing to something else, too. So if they're not collecting Fenton baskets today, they could be tomorrow. <laughs> So this is going to be held next Monday, December 23rd. Um, hopefully all of your mad scrambling shipping for the Christmas season is over and you can take a breather and be with me then. You can go to thedannyapp.com slash special dash webinars to register. Now it's a special price just for the next 72 hours for $59. But forget about that. I have a better deal for you. You can get all 10 of the webinars in the Untapped Treasure Series. All 10. For just joining the Appsters at $29.95 a month. And I will tell you guys, this is, this is the last time I'm offering this at $29.95. Um, the price is going up as of January 1st. Uh, but what you get with the Appsters is access to every single webinar. So you will have already, just joining, you have access to the other four Untapped Treasures uh, series that we've already done, plus this one, <clears throat> excuse me, got a frog, plus everything that we do within the Appsters, which is our weekly coaching webinars, our specialty workshops, um, we have a secret Facebook group where you get extra, you know, access to me, that's where I spend my time, most of the time on Facebook. Uh, special members only discounts, special offers. I try to wrangle up all the good deals I can for you out there on, on products and services that you need. And more, always more, um, always adding more. And you may have heard me talking. We're going into the, the six-figure club um, next year. Uh, for anybody who wants to do a six-figure year on eBay, we're going to have a special workshop just on how to do that. So um, with that, if you want to see all the benefits, all that, you can always go over to thedannyapp.com, look for the big green Join the Appsters Now, or shoot me an email at danny at thedannyapp.com if you have any questions. And if there are any questions, I will take those now. You can just type them into your question box. All right, guys, with that then, have a fantastic rest of your Monday, and go be profitable and make it fun. I hope to see you all next week.